uh, this is a great example of something we don't see very often. Uh, case number uh, number 12. So we are on acryl skin, thick yep. um, compact stratum corneum, and then the very superficial part of the stratum corneum is very like jagged and ratty looking. Yeah. Um, which kind of makes me want to go in and see if I can find some organisms there. The rest of the epidermis looked pretty normal, not really inflammatory. Um, and then, yeah, kind of going in closer, we can see there's a ton of bacteria kind of right up in yeah. the superficial external corneum. So, um, pitted keratolysis. Yeah, this is pitted keratolysis. The organisms here, which I get, I believe Carinibacterium is the most common genus, but I think some others have been implicated occasionally too. Um, and what basically happens is it's superficial infection by these carnibacterium. This is where the corneum used to be. And these little pits have been eaten down, these little holes. So like you said, perfectly described an indention with jagged edges and little clusters of bacteria that usually, from the few cases I've seen, you can see on H&E. And I believe this is most common on the plantar foot in like kind of hot, humid, um, tropical type climates. So probably kind of something to do with occlusion and then the environment and then the bacteria grow there and begin to eat in. And, and clinically, it makes a scaly kind of, you know, change to the, the foot uh, with all these little pits and holes in the corneal uh, layer. So pitted keratolysis, kind of a, an unusual and interesting form of bacterial infection. Here's more organisms over here. The organisms, uh, again, from the few cases I've seen, very easy to identify. You can just go see them right on H&E. Again, they look almost like erythrasma, right? They, these ones do. They're like little linear. Those look a little more clustered, but it's kind of like a florid case that looks like erythrasma because it's carinibacterium, but it's on the, the plantar foot usually. Okay, excellent. 